Why is it so white? Oh, Just fix the lighting. Yeah. Okay. Welcome back to the channel. Today is, I'm not a YouTuber, I'm like trying to be. But um, anyways, today is a very exciting day. We are on the way to Pennsylvania to pick up our corgi. Uh -huh. Oh my god. Um, look, at this, look at this little I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom in on that. So, so we are on the way. Our ETA right now is um, 1.39 and it's 9.30 right now. And then from there, once we pick her up, we have a six and a half hour ride back to New York. So it's gonna be a long day. Fun, fun day of driving. Yes, but we're so excited. We've been thinking about getting a puppy for so long and we finally decided that the opportunity presented itself at this time. And you know, I'm not gonna lie, I felt very overwhelmed the past couple of days, but I'm really excited for this next adventure. So we will update you when we're like halfway there. minutes away so excited we are at the finish line and yeah next time we film we'll have a little puppy right here oh my god that's so puppy. crazy uh -huh. you guys excited yes yeah. let's go <laughs> okay for how many minutes three minutes away I'm high key freaking out and shaking. For no reason. And I'm really nervous, <laughs> but excited. So, so we'll see you once we have see you when we Daisy. See you. So we just picked up Miss Daisy girl, and she's so freaking cute. Oh my God. Hey baby, come here, look. She's a daddy's girl already, huh? Yeah? Yeah? Oh my god! She's so freaking cute! We're in love! Aww. Okay, it's the first morning with Daisy and look at her! Okay, so first off, she was literally amazing last night. Daisy, come here! Come here! So she was so good last night. We put her in the crate at 11.30 p.m. And then she woke up at like 1.50 and then went pee pee. And then we put her back in. She only whined for like, what, maybe like 30 seconds max. And then she slept all the way until 7.30 without making a peep. Nelson and I woke up more than she did to make sure she was okay since she wasn't crying. Uh uh, don't bite Nelson's jacket. No. No, 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 no. Silly. Um and yeah, and then we took her outside this morning. She is gonna go to her first petco run now. And we're gonna get her a little pee pee pad so she can pee outside on the balcony. Cause she's not used to the cr to the concrete yet, since she's now a little city girl, right, Daisy? City girl. She's so cute. I'm obsessed. City girl. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is a few days later. I totally meant to like continue the video, but things have been obviously busy with this little one right there. Say hi. <laughs> and I kind of just wanted to give like a rundown of how it's been going and like what type of dog she is like what's the deal oh my god she has the zoomies right now okay so basically Daisy is a Pembroke Welsh Corgi and we got her from a breeder in Pennsylvania and the breeder was honestly amazing like everything went so smooth we got her for like a good price compared to most corgis and 
And she's been so sweet. When she gets the zoomies, she like is nibbling a lot, obviously, because she's teething. Um, but she's been awesome. She's been literally the biggest cuddle bug ever. And she's seven, she's eight weeks today. Today's Tuesday, April 20. Today's Tuesday, April 26th. And she's eight weeks old. Ah! <laughs> I hope you just saw that. Hey. Say okay. She's like this like 10% of the time and the other 90 she's like sleeping. So, you know, it's honestly better than what I expected. The only thing is obviously like we tried to crate train her too. So the first night we put her in the crate, she did really well. She woke up at 150 to pee and we let her pee and then we put her back. She cried for like probably 10 minutes and then slept until like seven, which was really, really good. She's chewing on an empty water bottle right now in case you're wondering. Um, but then the next night was awful in the crate. She like did not want to sleep in it. And so we just decided honestly, because of like our work schedules and stuff that it would make more sense to just not crate train her and let her sleep on the bed with us because then we're able to get more rest too. I know some people may have like various opinions on that, but for us right now, that's just what works best but yeah she's been such a little good girl look at her yeah she's adorable but um anyways that's basically the rundown and then obviously i've been just trying to like balance the right like work and puppy mom life and stuff nelson actually has to go into work so during the day i'm the one that's mainly with her and i still haven't like left her by herself yet but i think today i'm gonna when nelson gets home i'm gonna go to the gym for a little bit to have some me time um because that's something that you lose when you're taking care of a little puppy hey baby but yeah the worst parts have been the teething and crate training um which we're not really doing anymore but it, the only thing about not doing it that makes me nervous is like when we have to leave her by herself i hope that she doesn't like cry and stuff like that i don't know we're still you know trying to figure it out it's like the fourth day with her i think got her friday saturday sunday monday tuesday yeah fourth day with her um dude you're too short to jump on the couch you know but yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'm giving away some shoes like over there. And so she's biting on those. I'm letting her bite on them. Cause like, honestly, if I can get some work done, then so be it. <laughs> but yeah, no, she's been really good. She knows sit already and almost paw, which is really exciting. So I feel like training wise, it's going well minus the teething and biting <laughs> she kind of just like does her thing look she got her starbucks drink hey uh-uh no so that's the update i will film a whole week with a puppy video which i meant to start yesterday but it's gonna get started but I'm gonna start it tomorrow and go through Sunday because my parents are coming to meet her, which is exciting. This weekend is Nelson's birthday, so I'm trying to figure that stuff out too. And oh, the other thing that's been a little tricky is potty training because obviously we live in an apartment, but we have a balcony, which is amazing. So we got a little like grass pad and excuse me, I'm talking <laughs> and um, you like the camera <laughs> and she's been having quite a few accidents inside which is okay because you know it happens and we're working on it we have like a few pee pee pads in the house and then plus the thing outside so every few hours i take her outside um what's wrong my love you need to say hi to the vlog. She wants to say hi. 
but I think she wants to go out. So I'm gonna let her out and then I have a meeting at 12.30. So I'll catch up with you shortly. Hey. Uh-uh. <laughs> you don't scream. So it's literally so cold out and she doesn't want to come inside. Oh, now you do. Okay. But she didn't pee. So this is where I'm like, I don't know how to fix that. So if you have any suggestions for potty training, let us know, please. Can you show them? Paw, sit, uh-uh, sit. Paw, good girl, good girl. Uh-uh, no biting. Good morning. Well, wait, why did I just say good morning? It's literally 7 p.m. the next day. So what you just saw was yesterday and now it's Wednesday and she is being so freaking cute right now. So I had to show, look at how she's cuddling with her toy. She's taking a nap and she's the sweetest thing in the whole wide world. I wanted to basically end off this video because I didn't finish it yesterday. I'm sorry if this video is also like all over the place. I'm gonna do more of a sit down one and explain like exactly the story of like how we got her and everything. But for now, I just wanted to give a little update again. Um, last night, obviously she's sleeping in the bed now, which is great. It's so nice to like have her in between us cuddling, so freaking cute. And she woke up a few times last night, but honestly, like at the beginning, I'm not gonna lie, like my body was so exhausted from like just like the overwhelming change and like all that type of stuff, lack of sleep. And like I would say Saturday and Sunday, I was just exhausted. And then yesterday and today, I've had a lot more energy than what i was expecting i feel like my body's getting used to like waking up in the middle of the night to take care of her and like let her pee and stuff like that and she's been the biggest blessing like we are actually obsessed with her and we can't wait to like take her on walks and stuff like that because she's not fully vaccinated yet so we have like i called the vet because she has an appointment next week for like her second round of shots and i asked the vet if like we can take her out and stuff and she said she recommends not to but we can like always carry her if we want to but i don't know we just want to take like extra precaution to make sure that she doesn't like get sick or anything because when they're puppies their immune systems are like babies basically so like they're really weak but yeah she has her second round next week and like i mentioned my parents are coming into town with my sister again on saturday morning and staying until sunday night to celebrate nelson's birthday so his whole family is going to come over my family is going to be here and it's going to be fun we were going to go somewhere but we can't with little miss daisy and yeah i mean i hope you guys have enjoyed this video so far this is a new journey an exciting new chapter and we cannot wait to see her grow up and everything part of the reason why she's also so special to us is because the way that we found the breeder was through american kennel club and i messaged her on like the specific day and like she had no pictures of the puppies up and i was like hey like are how old are they are they going to be ready to go like soon or um or do you have to like a few weeks this by the way was on march 1st that i emailed her and she literally was like actually the litter was just born today and so they won't be ready until like the week after easter and for us that was like perfect timing because we were like okay that gives us like a month and a half to prepare and like get everything situated mentally prepare obviously logistically all that and so literally since the day that she was born we knew that we were gonna get her because she's the breeder was like what, what what color are you looking for male female we were like a red female she, and she was like out of the whole litter there's only two red ones and one of them is a female so she's reserved for you guys up until like easter basically and 
so literally every single week we would facetime the breeder and she would show us daisy as she was growing which is so special because we literally saw pictures of her from the first day that she was born and facetimed her like three days after she was born and basically watched her grow up until up until this point and we obviously will get, watch her grow up the rest of her life which is so special to us and i think that's why we like definitely had an emotional attachment to her and that's what made everything that much more special so if you're thinking about getting a puppy and you feel like the timing is right i suggest first of all look at american kennel club for breeders second of all you will not regret it it's gonna be tough the first few days the first few weeks i should say maybe first few months but it's worth everything like I, I don't know after having a puppy you're like how the heck did i go that long without having my own dog and she's just honestly i can't say it enough the best but anyways i'm editing the video that you're watching now which is why i wanted to close it out but i hope you guys enjoyed please let me know any questions or comments that you may have um if you have any training like recommendations please leave them down below obviously everyone is different i've mentioned that already today but i would love to like get suggestions on certain things especially potty training and nibbling nibbling we're working on i feel like she already knows sit and paw and she like whenever she's biting at like our feet or whatever we tell her to sit and she stops which is really good so that's great I also want to do a video that of like everything that we got for her so we got like a bunch of little puzzle games that she loves doing like at nighttime after dinner um the treats that we get her the bed the accessories all of that i think would be fun to show too so be on the lookout for that video and yeah thank you so much for watching up until this point i hope you enjoyed this really really special video that we are gonna treasure forever Just make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out and you can watch daisy grow up with us i love you guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe and give this video a like and i'll see you in my next video bye